Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm working with an authentic Santorini square and we are going to be painting today, You Are Enough. I wanna use a semicolon here because it is Mental Health Awareness Month for the month of May. So what I did here was traced with pencil on paper right around the shape of my rock. This way I can plan it out a little bit better and I'm just using, using a mechanical pencil here. This gives me the opportunity to make a mistake, uh, figure out that I'm writing too big, um, figuring out that I'm not taking enough room, deciding how many fancy curly things I wanna put on it and not run out of room. Um, I'd suggest um, if you are just getting started with lettering that you go ahead and trace your paper out and try this first. This kind of gives you a rough draft without messing up what you're working on. So I just did a wash of Derwent Ink Tense pencils here on the background, and then I'm going through um, with my pencil yet again. Um, of course, I've been doing this for a really long time, so I'll just wing it with a pen, but I'm trying to teach you a best, the best way to plan. This is how I started too. Takes a little bit more time, but you um, end up with more accurate results. So I'm just duplicating my paper here. Um, if I want to make any changes and I'm not sure about it, I can go right over to my paper and see if it will work um, rather than going in with a pen and, you know, hey, this isn't right and then you got to start all over again. So um, just going through here with my pencil and just like our other videos, we're going to... Uh, go over this once with a pen and also if you don't want to do the H that way and you want to make it you know like less curly stuff you can just do it this way and block out your letter that way so I'm using a Posca 1M R uh, the R is very important here the 1M tips I don't care for they splash on me the 1M R is a dream to work with this is a three inch stone, so I have a little bit more room. That's why I can use this thicker pen. This is, for the record, my very favorite pen to write with in the history of all times. Um, so I'm taking my pen, I'm going over my pencil marks here. And like I've told you before, um, if you're going down, your line is thickening. If it's an upstroke, um, that's, you wanna keep that one thinner and it always ends up balancing out perfectly at the end. Um, very careful to not put my hand back into wet paint. So you will see me kind of like scoot around, um, try not to dip my hand. That's why I'm starting at the top and ending at the bottom because if I do the bottom first, I'm going to put my hand directly in that and make a giant mess. Now that you're watching me do this, you're like, hey, I can do this too. And the answer is you absolutely can. It just takes a little bit of planning, but if you have a paper and a pencil, you can plan it out. I wanted to do the word here enough, um, a little bit bigger. And so that's what I did. I don't really have a guide here. I'm just kind of um, winging it. And I wanted to say thank you to Diana C. You um, suggested this to me. We're doing lettering month in uh, May, and this was your suggestion. So I thank you for this, and hopefully you like it. And as always, if you're painting along with me, I'd love to see what you're making. I'm just going right over my lines. Um, since this is a longer word, I'm going to do it letter by letter instead of word by word like I did up top. And that's simply so I don't stick my hand directly in what I've already painted and mess it up because I'm really good at that. <laughs> Okay, on these long pieces, I want to stop right where the curly part meets the straight part. Um, that way, I can keep a consistent line and I can go ahead and twist my rock without messing it up. Now I'm just going to go here and do my downstrokes thicker. Sorry, that's a little challenging to see. And voila, you are done. Have fun, paint along, make it your own. Thanks for watching.